restaurant that's in an old Victorian house and it has a Christian bookstore and then a home decor gift store in there as well. Then I normally make it, it's, it's one pie, but I normally make it like this, but I'm gonna do the one this time. It sells, unless they've changed their prices, $26 for a whole pie. And by the slice, it's three something. It's very, very rich. My stepdaughter is not a sugar sweet person. I mean, she likes it, but she's not like addicted to it like I am. And she's like, that is make your tongue fall off. The first thing to do is I've got my oven heated to 350 and it bakes for 20 to 25 minutes in this pan. When I break it down to this, um, it's, you know, much thinner out half of that time. So we do eight tablespoons of, it says unsalted butter, but I've always used salted. I do both. I can't really tell a difference. So because it's in a high power Ninja processor, I'm not chopping it up, but normally it says to cut it into one inch pieces. Do one cup of flour. Love these. Pioneer Woman, this is a two cupper. I use this all the time. So these are kind of a nice set. I got them at Walmart Weatherford, but they haven't had them in forever, so. And they're Melanac. So one cup flour. You know, in home ec, they teach you to not do it over the bowl and you use your knife. You do it like this. And I do this pretty accurate but I don't ever do that to me. I thought I would be professional. Okay, so there we go. We put that in there. And then one cup finely chopped pecans. Well, these were already chopped, and then the food processor really chops them. So, one cup of that. You don't grease the pan or anything. I actually use this crust for other crusts because I don't like graham cracker uh, crust. Okay, so literally you just smash that down in there and 25 minutes, 350. I'm feeling very unnatural because I don't cook on film. I paint furniture, so, but I put my apron on it. It makes you really cook good. I'm going to do the filling. Have you seen these? They have, um, you used to could get them at Target. I don't know if it fits this size because this is the biggest one. Um, it's like beautiful, like milk glass with the handle. It, it's so pretty. I want one so bad. I got a birthday coming up and my girl's sitting right here. That would be an amazing gift. I um, think I could afford that. Well, you've got sisters. So you could go in together on it. Okay, so now we're doing um, the unsalted softened butter, but we're using salted butter and it's not softened. And I'm pretty mad that the cute little girl they took her off the box of um, this brand because she was really cute. You don't want to use margarine. That for sure. Do not, if you are a good baker, do not use margarine. You have to use it for real butter. I don't even eat margarine. It's terrible for you. It's one molecule away from plastic is what I heard. Does anybody know if that's true? That's a stick and a half is 12 tablespoons. And then a cup and a half. I'm really excited because I'm going to use my homemade vanilla today. Um, I have a YouTube video on it on decorizing your life if you want to watch that. So one and a third. Cups butter. Or sugar, sorry. Look at that. That's terrible. And I pretty much eat this whole pie by myself in no, less than a week. That's one of those things that you didn't have. Okay, so because I did not pre-soften my butter, I'm going to soften it with my, oops, I was going to do it without the sugar in it. That's how I pre-soften mine and just beat the crap out of it. For five minutes, till pale and fluffy, like your summer body. This is another important thing. Journey watches a cooking show all the time. When you bake, your items should be room temperature, correct? Eggs and stuff. I don't know if it's a chemical thing, but it really affects your baking. These are not room temperature because I just, you know, and, and it's always been fine, but some recipes, it will matter. 
So what you do with this is you crack these and you gotta put it in and beat them each two minutes a piece. You probably don't wanna eat at my house after you see everything I do. I try to do good if I'm like doing it for a bake sale or something. I try to do good. The better you do this step right here, um, the fluffier and nicer it will. My homemade vanilla, if you wanna watch the YouTube video on how to do this, I am not saying this is cheaper to do this, but it was super fun. And I put labels on them. In the video I said I wasn't going to, I found some. Put labels on them and gave them for gifts. And you need to kind of shake it up every once in a while. So, yeah. So we'll see how, it, I mean, pure straight alcohol. Did you know that's what it's made out of? Bourbon, vodka, and rum. Those are the three I did. This is, I don't know what. It smells like it did it though, but it's expensive. You'll, you'll see on the video what all you have to have. And we need to put two teaspoons. Now is the chocolate. I always do everything to the letter of the law on a recipe the first time, and then I kind of tweak it after that. Buy this 100% unsweetened cocoa baker's chocolate. But I feel that you could kind of adjust this if you wanted to. It takes half of this. I added another square or two because I really like it deep tasting. And I even think um, like some instant coffee in there would be good. Love Pampered Chef. This is what I use for my double broiler, but before I bought this, um, and I don't even know what this, if this is for that, that's what I use it for. I use just double pans, like a pan, water in the bottom, and then another pan that you put your chocolate in, like. Like you can do it like that. And put water in here and put this in the double broiler, because that helps it to keep from burning your chocolate. But I actually have a pan going over here and then I use this and then we're gonna break the chocolate. Just You don't have to, but I'm gonna break it up in here. They're just melting this. See, it's already working. See how I got that going there? I love to cook. Now, we're this key here. You do not want, because we got eggs in here, right? You don't want to burn, scramble your eggs by this chocolate being too hot. So I just kinda, you know, I get some air into it, let it kinda cool off. Then you drizzle it as you go into there. But you don't want to let it get so cool that the chocolate hardens back up and doesn't mix into your stuff. the pie crust out of the oven and I put them where they don't burn anything in the freezer because I'm impatient because you got to have them cool so you don't melt your filling. This in the refrigerator because then that keeps that cool and crisp and all that and you might want to cover it so it doesn't suck up the onion taste of a plate, a Corel plate that's perfect for a lid on this. Topping, my topping is so good. You could use Cool Whip but don't. This is so worth it. It's so easy. I make it for other things. I have put it in my coffee before. It can be keto friendly if you use Splenda or Stevia instead of um, sugar. Usually I lick the fire out of this, but I'm not going to today. And it hurts me because I don't want to wash any like it. So I'm washing that down the drain. You gonna wash it for me? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. What? This isn't going for public sale, so yeah. You get it, girl. You get it. Go ahead and lick it. I'm so glad it's not being wasted. You see that? Yeah, it's just the regular chocolate. Okay. Can you go wash it for me? Please start washing it. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this in here for now. I like my crust burnt too. I make I usually make them in twos and I burn one and make one for regular people. Hey, I wanted you to wash this too. It's hard to get good help these days. Take all the um, banter, the mom-daughter teenage banter we got going on. For the topping is one cup of heavy cream. I usually like get every drop of everything I'm doing out. Because for one, it makes the ratios right on your recipe and I don't want to waste it. So we got that. And 
then you do two tablespoons of sugar. Whip that up. We're gonna beat it until peaks form, one to two minutes. Oh my gosh. You're supposed to beat the cream for one to two minutes, then slowly add the sugar in. I messed that up last time too. So this isn't gonna be as fluffy. Is 25 minutes seem to do it good. Try to stick it, Journey. Now, girl, I'm pulling the mom card. You've got to go put this in the freezer like for real, like cover it up so it doesn't burn anything. Cream on top. Spoon it on there. It doesn't spread real good, but look. See, it's got some texture to it. It's so good. Uh, build the pie. Want this cooled or it will melt your filling. Uh, I never feel like this is enough. I, I sometimes double the recipe on this part. And it's kind of a weird texture. It's homemade topping. Okay, you didn't see that. Whip in the can until I started making this. And there's nothing like homemade cream. I think this is what you could cut up some strawberries. I think this is what... These are really big chocolate chips. And this is just to make it pretty, but if you use 100% baking cocoa that has no sugar in it, it kind of gives it a bite. And so it's like bittersweet. So it really can change it, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it on there. Okay, oh, well, that looks pretty too. Just throw some chips on there. So anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. I pretty much eat this whole thing in less than a week by myself. My girl likes it, but she doesn't love it like I do. So it's so bad. When you make this, it's this is my first cooking video. So thank you for watching. I may need to stick to my craft videos.